I've missed it by inches. I think what has needed to get fixed was what was in between the ears and the mindset going in and give my best performance. Don't hold anything back. You just gotta go for it. From the beginning, the goal was CrossFit Games. I saw that on TV or on the on YouTube videos and stuff, and I was that was what I wanted to do. And then every year since then, the goal has been to get to the CrossFit Games. And I mean, it's taken seven years, lots of letdowns, lots of ups and downs in competitions. For the first few years, like I kept rising up the Open leaderboard and like the qualification process leaderboard and. There were a couple where I backtracked, I went back down, or I didn't do as good in a certain competition. And But overall, the, the games has always been the goal. So even after qualifying for regionals, it was like, okay, this is another step. And then getting to regionals, I think I took 24th at my regionals that year in 2018. And I was like, okay, I got more work to do. I got more work to do. I got more work to do. But it's been just staying disciplined towards like what my end goal has always been. What's up, Mitchell? Who's that? Who's that? What's up, Raina? Pretty good. What's up, Sam? Hi. You ready? Yes. Today's the day. Yeah. Is this your first official class? Second class. Okay. Good. What's up, Lexi? What's up, Ewoks? Hi, Mitchell. General manager for a gym is it's busy. Everything from doing those initial intros to onboarding and teaching them cleans for the first time and teaching them how to do a kettlebell swing or a pull up. All right, here we go. Scrubbing the bathroom and the toilets and mopping the floors after classes as well. All of it goes into the general manager work. Me having the career that I have with this keeps me in routine makes me value the time, whereas if I didn't coach or I could just work out whenever I wanted to, I could let the time slip away really easy. I could be getting the same amount of work done, but spread across even more time, and that wouldn't be as efficient for the day. I'd be doing less with my day. He's very gracious with his time. He's always here to help. Um, and he's honestly one of the goofier people I've ever met. Um, I mean, he's great. I think it's cool that he can flip on and off. Like, he can be goofy, but like, if he means business, he can like flip it and like get deep into the pain cave. Yeah. Which I think is really admirable. I think, go yeah, goofy is like the first word that comes to my mind, but I feel like he, when you're around him, you feel like, or he makes you feel like you can do anything. And that's super why we all keep coming back, I Superman. think. We yeah. always call him that. Our superhero. We call him our superhero. Look at that stick at him. Love you, Nick. Last two years at Granite Games were definitely memorable, for sure. Probably the most high, high stakes, high pressure events that I've been at or like taken for Granite Games this time. Uh, just because I am getting older just in terms of age, like I'm 28 years old now. Um, trying to break the surface of getting to the CrossFit Games to try to like open doors and make things happen with opportunities and stuff. And the first year, not as much preparation in terms of getting together with the team or getting together with coaches. And then taking sixth by three points was just like a dagger to the heart that year. Yeah, I qualified for last chance qualifiers after that in 2021. and But I think I kind of went into a weird spiral of like emotions right after Granite Games of how close I was and just barely made it. And it's been six years that I've been fighting for this and didn't do as well at last chance qualifier. Didn't give it as much effort as I feel like I did this year in terms of that. But 2022, we rock into it again, get to the last event and 
sold my soul on some rope climbs, and then again finished sixth place, right behind my fifth place spot again by 10 points this time. And it's funny because it was against the same guy, <laughs> me and Colton Mertens, <laughs> both of us come popping up on the screen when they go to tell the announcements of who took fifth. And um, in 2021, it was more of a nail biter. So I was like, oh my God, who's gonna get it? 2022, I knew that he had won an event earlier that weekend. So I knew he probably had me on points by a little bit. So it wasn't as much a surprise when I did see that it was me and him up on the board. I was like, all right, he's got it again, dang it. Then it stung really bad again, but my mindset was a little bit different after the event this year, because I was like, okay, we can do this. Let's get to that last chance qualifier. And then basically took two days off after Granite Games, right back into training, because I knew last chance was coming up. Went at it full head of steam. The leaderboard popped up and it showed that I was in fourth place. I was like, oh my God, how close can I keep making all this? But again, after the last chance qualifier, I wanted to make sure that I didn't spiral into a bad place anyway. I said, okay, well, let's go to Wadapalooza this year. Let's try to qualify for Dubai. Let's go to Rogue qualifiers and kind of give that a full go for the, for the season. So again, I took like two days off of last chance qualifier and I just got back into normal training, did some strength training, did some Olympic lifting stuff and hopped into a few classes throughout the week and just made sure my fitness was still good. Two weeks after last chance finished, I was just cleaning up the gym after a normal Saturday and I got a call from HQ and they told me that somebody may have been in violation of their drug test for Granite Games and that I should be ready for Madison. There was no exact yes or no if I was going. There was no information in terms of who or what was the issue or anything. They just said somebody was in violation. Be ready for Madison if we call you. It was about a week and a half before the actual CrossFit Games that I got my official invite. Absolutely surreal feeling. I let out a big cheer as soon as I hung up on the phone after that. I was just sitting in here by myself and I was just like, woo, and just kind of gave it a big scream. And yeah, it was like seven years. I finally accomplished the goal that I was set out to do originally after let down and let down and let down and just barely making it the last two years even with last chance qualifiers and Granite Games twice. It was just everything piled on me all at once. And it was, it was pretty epic. Cool. What'd you say? Is it spelled? Damn it! I really spelled it wrong. Do you use a T? I use the D. It says a T on here. Girlfriend, wife, baby mama. I told her I was gonna use that one, so that's got to make the cut. She takes care of so much of that extra household stuff in terms of getting the kids to sports. One of the other biggest things is she does all of my meal prep and all of the food that I eat. Yeah, it's been, she's she's great support system, yeah. Uh, the little girl, man, I have a five-year-old. Crazy to think about, she's gonna be in kindergarten this next, next week. From age one to three, she came with me every single day to work. I fed her at work, I changed her at work, I gave her naps at work. She helped me run classes and train people and ran around my gym just having fun growing up. She gone. She gone. She's with her friends. She's not wearing a seatbelt on the bus. She's eight she just made eight friends, probably, at least. I don't know. I think she'll be okay. Nope. Blacked out windows, can't see her. No wind though. Yeah. <laughs> We're just chopped liver. Top Top started back in, I think it was probably like 2018, my first regional year. Um, Ashley and one of our friends, Carly, were wearing crop tops. So me and the general manager of the gym that I was at um, decided that we wanted to be cool too. And we were going to do a twinning crop top Tuesday. So then the next Tuesday we came, we crop topped these three quarter sleeve American flag shirts that we had and we wore them for the first time and thus it was born.
I decided to bring it to my first competition, Regionals, in 2018, and the announcers had mentioned it. Um, they had, like, mentioned it over the speaker, like, oh, Nick Matthew wearing the crop top. It's kind of kind of bad because I came out a little hot on uh, triple three that year and then completely died after that. But, <laughs> but yeah, at least the crop top got a little bit of fame there. Don't worry, the ones I come out with will have a dotted line for everybody. Hey, dude. Hint, hint. Crop tops. Actually, you can't see my designs right now, bro. They're literally up right now. The games ones I actually did were pretty straight. I can't match that right now. I'm doing terribly. All right, let's see what we get. Think it's good, Mitchell? You know what? Sometimes that's what you get. It's a nipple one. It's a nipple one. Oh, no, that's good. Voila! Arms up, no nips. And then you get this little authentic little flip up when you cut it yourself. So it's not like a finished seam. It's much nicer that way. I remember there was after a workout me and Tia did down in Tennessee. We were sitting on the rowers and we were talking and she gave me a lot of insight to use, use getting to the games and this feeling of no pressure to my advantage. Like if you have a bad performance, let it go. Like, no pressure. Don't have to worry about it. Don't have to stress about it after. And she just basically, that was like what she said, was to use it as my superpower and then go in and just attack the weekend and get after it. The, the skills medley, awesome event, loved it. As soon as they announced it, I kind of joked with my coach next to me. I was like, I think I can win this thing. Like I was like half serious, but like half serious to him, but even more serious in my own head than I wanted to lead on in case it didn't happen. You make one mistake, you're done. Did everything exactly to my best ability and did it fast enough to get to that, that final round. And then the crossover double unders. In the back, I didn't really have to practice them too much. I kind of picked it up right away. And my coach was like, don't let everybody else see that you can do them really well. So I got out there and I think I did 12 unbroken on my first go. And as soon as I got to like rep seven, of the unbroken, my first unbroken set, I heard the crowd just erupt. The crowd top is working for Nick Matthew. Look at the man go! And then after that, like I was like smiling, like feeling good, and dropped the rope, ran to my pistols, got my pistols done, and then I was like, if I can get this first try, I can win the event. Took an extra second, calmed my heart rate down, eliminated like the noise, like the excitement and like the jitters and the shakiness of all of it. Went right up, and as soon as I got upside down. I was like, oh my God, I just won my first event at the CrossFit Games. Walked across the beam, I was like, oh my God, it's happening. Oh my God, it's happening. And again, just attentive to detail, no stupid mistakes, nothing like that. Account for the waviness of the bar when you're walking. And then as soon as I saw that yellow line that was like right at my eyes and I crossed, I was just the happiest guy ever. Just threw up my arms, screamed, ran across that finish line. I was like, oh my God, I just won an event at the CrossFit Games. Like, how many people get to say they've won an event at the CrossFit Games? On the guy's side, I mean, not a lot over the last <laughs> 10 years with Froning and Fraser in the mix. So yeah, that was, and let alone to be a rookie and do it, that was epic, that was crazy. Yeah, most excitement of my life. Whoa! Second event win was that sandbag clean. I looked at my coach again and I kind of joked with him. I was like, I'm gonna win the sandbag event. 3.30 went up the first try. We got the 3.40 bag. Got it to my lap pretty easily and then had to shimmy it a couple times to get it on my shoulder. And yeah. Was ecstatic when I lifted that. And they brought out the 3.50, didn't go up. And then we went to the tie break with me, Guy, Jason, and Brent. Adrenaline was through the roof. 100 tossed it over, 150 tossed it over. And I think I moved on to each bag before it even hit the floor on the other one. And then the 200 picked it up, tossed it over. Granite Games in 2021, that three points that I missed it by came down to seven tenths of a second that Tim Paulson got his foot over the line with the right chip timer versus me. So that was like etched in my head that always stick the chip timer foot forward. 
think Guy got on the platform first, but I got my left leg over the timer the exact same time that he ended up crossing as well, which gave us the tie for first place. I didn't have my glasses on, so when they showed up the scores and I just heard the crowd like erupt again, I looked up at the board and I was like, oh my God, I can't read that far. And Guy came over to me and I was like, does that say the same score? Is that the same? I was like, oh my God, yeah, we both won that one. And yeah, it was another epic moment. Two event wins as a rookie was just, couldn't believe it. What, 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 what took you forever? I was working out. It's right here. Okay. We'll get you exercising. <laughs> Yeah, could you put some meat on it? I got it for you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so I like to make home-cooked meals usually in the evenings, but every Sunday I'll meal prep meals so he has them for the week. Same with me. Yeah. What? Otherwise, he wouldn't eat. Hold on. He would just eat snacks all day. I hate animals. Just kidding. I don't hate animals, but I could definitely... I tried getting rid of him to your parents, and you said no. He's already here, and you can't split the cats up. Yes, you can. He doesn't care. He Look at him. He'll be heartbroken. He doesn't care. He'll be He's heartbroken. He's dead. He is dead. He looks dead, though. Yeah. He you see him care. over there? Leo. Yeah. I like animals, garbage. but I don't want a dog because if I wanted to walk through a yard, if we had a yard, I wouldn't want to look down looking for poop all day. <laughs> and cats plop oh. the carpet and puke all over the place. So, yeah. a bunch of freeloaders they are. Yeah. So, yeah. I'd be fine without animals. Okay, come on. Let's go to bed. Okay, give me a hug. Big hugs. Big hugs, big hugs. Okay, kisses. Okay, have fun. <laughs> Go to bed. Hurry, Mommy! Two big takeaways that stick out right away. First one is having the confidence that I belong. I took 14th at the CrossFit Games. Rookie of the year, 14th fittest man on earth this year. However I got there, I got there and I qualified and I did that. So I'd say that's the biggest thing is, is believing that I can compete with all those guys. The second thing I would say is just kind of still something that's just, I feel like always going to be in my head and has to be a focus every year and every event that I do is stay in my own lane, focus on things that I control, focus on what I'm doing in my event, not what everybody else is doing. If I can stay that, just like the skills medley, if I can stay focused on what I'm doing, then the outcome is gonna be exactly what I want. I would definitely identify that I am a little goofy at times. I mean, hence the crop top, bright colors, mismatching clothes all the time. I mean, I just like to change things up and snow, like, <clears throat> normal is weird. You know what I mean? Weird is normal. Like, be weird because then you're unique. Don't be normal and follow along with just how everybody else does things or how everybody else looks or dresses or acts or like create your own path. Enjoy what you do. Don't think twice about the things that you want to do. Like I get some people that give me shit about the crop top already too. You know what I mean? Like I don't care. Like that's just who I am. I like being goofy. I like having fun. And you know what? The people I'm around and the people that my goal is to be maybe a, a role model to like they love it too, you know what I mean? And then it's gonna get them to come outside their shells and 
love the things that they do and be the person that they want to be and have fun with it. Enjoy life instead of feel like they're in a routine and just hating every day. Run it back, 2023. Best open yet, best quarterfinals yet. Win my semifinal outright, and let's go make the podium at the games. Yeah.